if you think your aquarium is fine because you see some bubbles, you need to watch this. In our previous video, we talked about aerators. We mentioned that the oxygen your fish breathes doesn't come directly from the bubbles. It's actually from a process called gas exchange that happens when the water surface is agitated. The aerator's real job? To move the water and increase surface agitation, allowing oxygen to dissolve into the water. The more movement, the better the gas exchange. But here's the catch. Water temperature controls how much oxygen your tank can hold. At 25 degrees Celsius, the max dissolved oxygen is 8.26 milligrams per liter. At 30 degrees Celsius, it drops to 7.56 milligrams per liter. The cooler, the water holds more oxygen. Overstacked tanks can't reach maximum oxygen levels because too many fish are consuming it. Goldfishes needs around 6 to 8 milligrams per liter. And guppies at similar sizes needs about 5 milligrams per liter. In this 45 gallon tank with 4 goldfish at 29 degrees Celsius, the oxygen level drops to 6.4 milligrams due to overstocking. Meanwhile, in a 30 gallon tank with just 1 goldfish, the oxygen level stays near the max at 7.6 milligrams since there's only one fish and it's actually more than his requirement. And take a look at this guppy tank. At 27 degrees Celsius, at the top part of the water, it reads around 7.7 .7 milligrams per liter, which is good and just a few points from the maximum dissolved oxygen it can hold with its temperature. But when you measure the bottom of the tank, considering this is a very small tank, the dissolved oxygen drops at 6.6 .6 milligrams per liter. This is because the tank has a very minimal flow and dissolved oxygen is a unable to even out through the entire tank since the aeration is pretty low. Probably why guppies stay at the top part because there is an abundance of oxygen compared at the bottom when you have low flow. This is why following the minimum gallons per fish and limiting the number of fish per tank is critical. Not just for ammonia control but ensures they have enough oxygen. If you find this helpful like this video, drop your questions in the comments and follow us for more fish keeping tips.